I think uh, infrastructure is, the, you know, that, that urbanization is creating more and more pressure on infrastructure and resources that are already, you know, uh, being strained. So I think that's why we're seeing a lot of attention being paid to things like transit and mobility and um, those sorts of core uh, elements of, of urban infrastructure because those demands are increasing and it's not slowing down. Uh, it's also the opportunity to really use technology to have a meaningful impact on uh, what is required to, to make change occur in those things that are really important. And, and done well, I think you're going to create a city that uh, serves its people equitably and really creates an inclusive community. The superpower of the public sector is the opportunity to collaborate. Um, and what I mean by that is to say that cities can sh do more than just share best practices. They can share source code. Um, they can actually share solutions. And I believe that every city should leverage the progress made by cities who have worked on problems before them. Uh, and not attempt to reinvent the wheel um, over and over again. And so any opportunity to convene, uh, and that's the kind of the underlying um, intent of City Possible is to help facilitate that convening. Um, but when you get cities to work together and prepare the private sector and the, the academic sector and the NGOs of the world to engage in that, that city-centric way, in the collaborative way, I think that might be our, our best, if not only, opportunity to accelerate progress uh, to the degree that it can keep up or catch up with the, the increasing demands.